Gadoon is a Learner and Load classic. Um, it is Learner and Load. Yes. Yeah. For a second, I second guessed myself. <laughs> um, it is about Fiona McLaren, who is from this town of Brigadoon, who are uh, in Scotland in 1717, and this man Tommy Albright and his friend Jeff, who are from New York in 2017, and they stumble upon this magical village as it reemerges. It reemerges once every hundred years, and Tommy and Fiona fall in love, and um, and it's a piece. It's a, it's a piece all about. Um, I guess hope and about a bit about magic and about love conquering all yeah. and in a contemporary sense something that we've really been trying to work on for the show is this idea of you know, how lonely we all are today people in society you know we're so connected by social media um, but ultimately people are more lonely than they've ever been and Brigadoon has this beautiful community um, that's a pretty special place yeah Absolutely. Meanwhile, I play Meg Brocky, who is absolutely ridiculous, quirky as hell. Uh, she's the town milkmaid, and all I want to do is uh, meet a man and get married. And I play Jean McLaren, who is Fiona's sister, who is getting married to Charlie Dalrymple. Uh, so it's a really nice sort of side love story that's happening at the same time. And yeah, it's, really, it's a really beautiful piece. There's going to be something in it for everyone. Absolutely. So now you guys have both come off two really big touring shows. Yeah. Steph, you with Sound of Music, and uh, at least you with Matilda yeah. most recently. So what's the difference been for you guys recording with uh, or going into something like a rehearsal process with Sound of Music or Matilda <laughs> versus doing a show like this? Well, I think for both of us, uh, this is the first show I've ever done that hasn't had children in it. Yeah. So that's sort oh, of, um, that's so I'm not going to say that I love, I love the kids, but uh, it's been really different just having a room of adults. And of course, you had so many children. But I think, yeah, yeah. the main difference is the short rehearsal process. It's only, it's two weeks, it's very quick, and normally we get about six. Uh, yeah. So there's a lot of work to do at home um, and a lot of grabbing your scene partner in breaks and stuff to sort of try and solidify some things because there's not a lot of time. But it's coming together beautifully. It's going to be great. I have to be honest, it's, uh, I, I was terrified at, at the beginning. <laughs> um, but it's awesome. Mainly because it moves so quickly, you, you kind of have to just be bold. You get yeah. in there, you be big, you be bold, you make choices, yeah. you play, you take every moment that you can. Whereas, you know, when, and, and you just kind of do it. And you, it's over before you even get to think, think about it too yeah. much. So yeah. uh, it's really fun. Yeah, so with this particular show as well, it features some great music. I mean, the thing about you guys is you get to be part of shows that have such great uh, songs, such yeah. great soundtracks, like we were saying with Matilda and also with uh, Sound of Music. But this one, like we were saying before, was uh, Learner with Low as well. You know, they're the oh, yeah. people behind like My Fair Lady mm -hmm. and all those great musicals. Camelot. And of course, exactly. Yeah. And of course, the movie has Gene Kelly in that in it as well. Oh, yeah. So what's it like, you know, singing those, uh, those great oh, songs? It's so amazing. It's got a beautiful score. And I think people who come to see the show are going to be shocked at how many songs they actually do know from I, the show Brigadoon. I yes. honest, honestly, like I had seen the movie, but the actual stage show is very different from the movie. They changed it quite a lot. And the stage show is better. Like, it actually it is, is, genuinely. And the score, I didn't realise as well how many incredible songs there were in the score. Yeah. Um, and also, to be honest, the, the company in this show, they have to sing a cappella a bit, and it is off the chart. It's so <laughs> beautiful to listen to. It's amazing. Yep, so the last kind of couple of questions I have is um, particularly, uh, like I said, the show with such great music. Um, what are audiences, when they come to see Brigadoon, what are they going to love about this show? I think they're going to love um, the traditional sort of feel that the show has. And I think they're going to love our imagining of it and how we've brought you know, a portion of it and our two leading males into 2017. Um, it's still a story that's very prevalent today. It's, I think there's a lot of themes that yeah. we will uh, recognise as problems that we're at the moment in our modern society um, and I think as well like you're just going to be blown away by Genevieve Kingsford and, and Rowan Brown, yeah, at least you can with Jocelyn, <laughs> everyone is so fantastic, it, doing beautiful work. It is like a really interesting piece because I think when people think of Brigadoon um, they think of this really old piece and they think mm -hmm. how is that relevant, how is that, it's not going to be fun or interesting but it is, it is really moving but it is so full of energy and and truly, just as Steph said, like Genevieve and, and Rowan are so just joyous to watch. Mm -hmm. it, and, it, and it does have a beautiful contemporary edge yeah. to it. And um, it, I just think people are going to be really excited by it and not realise quite how, 
how wonderful the, the, the piece is. Yeah. And we feel very lucky to be able to do it. I mean, it hasn't totally. been done in such a long time. I don't know if we'll see it anytime soon. So we're, we feel really lucky to and be singing this score and yeah. bringing it to life. Yeah. And there's a, there's a company in America called Encores who, um, I was I happened to be over there just before we started rehearsals and they just announced that they are doing Brigadoon as their next show. And I was like, what? They totally <laughs> copy the production company. <laughs> and so anyway, I think it's kind of quite timely that, mm. you know, it's happening in two different places in, you know, kind of quick succession. Um, and it's, it's kind of points to the fact that it is a really great piece to tell, but also relevant for right now. Yeah. So one of the things we always ask here at Aussie Theatre, and you guys have been really lucky, you guys have been finding uh, some constant work, some great work within the music theatre uh, industry. But for people who are you know, up and coming in the ranks, even people who study here at the yeah. Ministry of Dance, what are some tips that you guys could give for people who want to get in the industry and get into uh, musical theatre? I think it's important to be very well-rounded as best you can. Um, Dance is very important, or at least not having two left feet. Uh, you know, and your singing is important, and your acting is important. All the three meld into one thing as well. You don't, you shouldn't think of them separately. I think if you're a young person looking to train, you should try and go to a school that offers um, a really solid music theatre program, because yeah. it is a very specific uh, sort of thing that we do. Um, and I think you have to be very resilient as well. We know that. Like you get so many knockbacks. We've been very lucky to have work uh, recently but there's always more no's in there, I guess, but keep at it um, yeah. and keep showing up to those auditions with a smile on your face and it, it'll stand you in good stead. Yeah. And I think as well, you know, when you get an opportunity, just work hard, mm -hmm. always work hard, be happy to be there, listen. Like mm -hmm. there is so much to learn from watching everyone else around you. Um, even in auditions, just, and I always, I always think that the best thing that I was ever told was make your focus about doing good work. Don't worry about the outcome because you can't control that anyway, you know? Just make the focus every time you get a chance to play a part or you get a chance to do an audition, focus on just doing the best job that you can at that point in time, be prepared and just go in there really just open, you know, and just try and do good work and then good things will come.